robots have transitioned from the pages of science fiction to reality. Their capabilities and features have also moved from imagination into reality, as modern robots continue to astound us with their abilities. But have you ever wondered how are they manufactured? How are robots for adults made? How are they becoming a part of our lives, potentially posing a threat with the rise of machines? It's worth finding out. In this video, I'll show you the amazing process of how robots are made, so let's get started. Adult robots have an incredibly realistic appearance. They replicate all the fine details of the human body, and it's worth noting that these bodily parameters are near perfect. Their skeletons, specifically the core of the robots, are made from stainless steel with secure joints or foam, which makes these dolls flexible. A layer of silicone or other polymeric material is applied on top, depending on the manufacturer. The key is to make the material similar to human skin, even going as far as creating realistic folds and nails on the robot's body. Generally, the future robot's body is cast in a mold and carefully removed. Once the base is ready, it needs to be connected to an equally important part, the head. The head is attached to the body, eyes are inserted, a silicone face is put on, and a wig is placed. These robots have movable jaws, soft lips, tongues, and even silicone teeth. Adding realistic features like eyebrows, freckles, and makeup is a standard practice. At this stage, it might look like a giant adult doll, but technology doesn't stop here. For instance, robots with electronic brains and artificial intelligence are entering the market. An American company has developed a robotic doll that can smile, blink, frown, remember the owner's hobbies or favorite foods, tell jokes, and more. The robot's personality can be configured with a computer or a mobile app and controlled through a smartphone. The doll can be made kinder or more aggressive, depending on the owner's preferences. The robot boasts 18 different personality types and can even act independently according to its personality. If the owner wants the robot to be playful or modest, it's entirely up to them. How would you like your robot? Let me know in the comments. Promobot Promobot is an autonomous robot developed by a company of the same name. It can serve as a consultant, promoter, administrator, guide, or caretaker. Its adaptability makes it a prime choice for functioning efficiently in crowded environments where people can use assistance or entrust it with their work. These robots perform their tasks in 40 countries and speak 10 languages. By the way, they are assembled in Russia, specifically in Parna. Before production begins, specialists work out a series of basic issues, figuring out what the future of the new robot should be and what functions it will perform. Firstly, the robot's design and device layout are developed, and then the production begins. Metal parts are cut on a machine, and then shaped in a bending machine. Next, all these elements are painted and taken back to continue the assembly process. Once this step is completed, the frame is sent for the installation of electronic components. Engineers install boards, servers, processors, and cables that connect all the modules of the future robot. Once all the cables and boards are installed, the robot is connected to the electric current. You could say that this stage is when it comes to life. The body consists of over 50 pieces and its plastic goes through vacuum thermal molding. The parts are machined, painted and assembled onto the robot. This is followed by a critical stage testing, during which specialists check the robot's movement capability and software performance. In general, they do everything possible to ensure the robot functions smoothly in the future. By the way, Promobot has already been shown in action and has even become a hero. For example, in 2017, one of these robots saved a girl from a falling bookshelf. But Promobot hasn't stopped there and has developed the humanoid robot. It has the appearance, emotions, and facial expressions of a human. In general, there are male and female versions. For example, in 2020, a robot was hired at the Multifunctional Public Services Center in Parna. A robotic girl with blonde hair and brown eyes began to receive visitors. In addition to moving her eyes, eyebrows, lips, communicating and answering questions, she also scanned documents and generated the necessary documents. Next, the robot scanned the visitor's signed document and sent it to the information system of the Multifunctional Public Services Center. 
The skin of humanoid robots is created in the lab from a special silicone. First, a mold is made, from which artificial skin is extracted to make it look like real skin. Workers need to apply makeup, including hair, eyelashes, and eyebrows. Each hair on the humanoid robot is inserted manually, which can take several days for this production process. When the face is fully completed, specialists stretch all that skin over the head. By the way, each robot's head has 29 mobile modules to help the facial expressions resemble those of humans. In the near future, the company plans to make all robots as realistic as possible, expanding the range of emotions and making the skin and eyes exactly like real ones. Linguists also participate in the work, adding new languages, improving vocabulary. They also make the database better at understanding words. Digit. Digit is a medium-sized humanoid robot. It doesn't have realistic skin or a human-like head. Instead, it features a radar and stereoscopic cameras in its torso to detect obstacles around it. The robot has two arms and two legs, allowing it not only to move, but also to climb stairs. Digit is a direct descendant of Cassie, which has been in development for the last decade. Cassie is a dynamic robot that walks and can cross difficult terrain and overcome obstacles. Digit has a pair of arms, which has the ability to perform two dynamic actions simultaneously. Digit can carry a load of up to 18 kilograms, making it suitable for various works, such as internal logistics in a warehouse, package delivery, as well as areas like telepresence, factory production control, and infrastructure inspection. iCub Several years ago, scientists and engineers at an Italian institute introduced a unique development, a humanoid robot they named iCub. This robot resembles a child in terms of height and appearance, and its level of development and learning capabilities corresponds to that of a three-year-old. The robot is equipped with sensors that enable it to see, hear, and feel. It can distinguish people name and remember objects, and talk about what they have in common or how they differ. An interesting feature is its ability to navigate mazes. The baby robot can pick up objects, lift them from the floor or another surface, touch them and determine their properties. Robot Chef. Good news for those who don't enjoy spending hours in front of the stove. The British company Moly Robotics has introduced a robotic chef that cooks with hands designed to resemble human hands. The robotic arms are suspended over the stove, oven, workspace, and sink. These hands are a highly complex system with 20 motors, 24 joints, and 129 sensors needed to replicate the movements of a human chef. This enables the robot to prepare almost any dish, as the robotic arms can turn on the stove and burners, lift pots and spatulas, stir, flip, and even wash dishes. Tired of carrying heavy loads by hand? This cargo robot can ease that burden by carrying up to 20 kilograms of weight. The robot continuously follows its owner via visual sensors. If a person stops, the robot also stops until the person continues their journey. The robot has a maximum speed of 13 kilometers per hour and is designed for use on flat surfaces. It can climb slopes of up to 16 degrees, but it cannot navigate stairs. Sophia. Many have heard of the robot Sophia. She is known for her humanoid appearance and statements. For example, in 2016, during an interview, she promised to destroy humanity in the near future. But fortunately, she changed her mind a year later. Sophia was created in 2015 and comes from the Hong Kong-based company Hanson Robotics. In 2021, the company announced plans to mass-produce these types of robots. Sophia's skin is made of a patented material called Frubber, developed by the company itself. It's a kind of elastic rubber that feels like human skin. Under this rubber, there are miniature motors responsible for emotions. Sophia can blink, smile, furrow her brows, move her neck and head based on the words she hears or says. Sophia is constantly improving, learning new words and gaining knowledge about the world around her. Perhaps soon, robots like her will be used in many aspects of human life. What do you think of the AI robots? Do they have the potential to significantly improve our daily lives? Or do you believe they could become a threat to humanity if not carefully controlled?
let me know in the comments. If you want to know how sheep's wool is converted into clothing, watch the video on your screen and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.